Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on going over the HackerRank interview preparation kit. This is our first problem going over sorting, and it is labeled as a difficulty easy. It is called bubble sort, and here is the problem. Considering the following version of bubble sort. For int i is equal to zero, i is less than n increment i. For int j is equal to zero, j is less than n minus one increment j. If a sub j is greater than a sub j plus one, swap the elements a sub j and a sub j plus one. Given an array of integers, sort the array in ascending order using the bubble sort algorithm above. Once sorted, print the following three lines. Array is sorted in num swaps swaps, where num swaps is the number of swaps that took place. Two, first element, first element, where first element is the first element in the sorted array. Three, last element, last element, where last element is the last element in the sorted array. Hint, to complete this challenge, you must add a variable that keeps a running tally of all swaps that occurred during execution. And it gives us an example with the array a is equal to 6, 4, and 1. Uh, and then they have a variable called swap here, and then their a array. And they say on pass 0, we just have the array. Pass 1, it swaps these first two elements, and that's one swap. Uh, pass 2, it swaps these two elements, that's two swaps. Uh, pass 3, we've got... Uh, three swaps and we're now sorted. So then it prints out, array is sorted in three swaps. First element is one, last element is six. So we are supposed to complete the function count swaps in the editor below. Count swaps has the following parameters, int a sub n, an array of integers to, uh, to short, uh, or to sort, sorry. Print the three lines required, then return. No return value is expected. And then it gives us some constraints, and a sample input, sample output, etc. Uh, let's go straight to coding it now. So let me make this a uh, little bit, well first, first things first, we're gonna just take, so here's the function right here. We are just going to take this sort algorithm that they give us, because uh, this is what they want us to be using. We're just going to copy and paste just to make sure we don't uh, miss anything there. And uh, I'm just going to go and get our spacing fixed real fast. Just because sometimes having your spacing messed up can make the problem harder than it needs to be. Oops, that should be going there. See, it's already messing me up. No, oh, those are in the right spot. There we go. Okay, so here is our sort. So we already are sorting. And like I said, we're going to want to do an int num swaps. This is keeping track of the number of swaps. We're going to set that to zero. And uh, so we can keep our, our uh, algorithm the same without changing anything. Let me move this over here. And let's go ahead and... Uh... So all I've done so far... Oops, one, one back, this might be a little too much. So where is it? There it is. So all I've done so far is I've copy and pasted the bubble sort algorithm that they told us to use. I have established that we have an integer number of swaps, and I'm gonna also add in one more int, int n, that is just going to be equal to a dot size. Um, and that's just so we don't have to change anything. Oops, I accidentally hit save. Uh, that's just so we don't have to change anything in this base algorithm. And then all we have to do to solve this is every time we swap, hit uh, num swaps uh, in increments. And then outside of all of our for loops, we go here and we just do a C out. Um, let's go ahead and grab what we're wanting to print out, there it is. Uh, so array is sorted in three, or sorry, sorted in num swaps, swaps, 
and we'll go ahead and put a uh, period and then a new line character. And then down here, see out uh, first element. Uh, and then we want a sub zero. And then we want a new line character at the end there. And then uh, last element. And then we are going to do a sub n minus one and finish that off with a and L character. There we go. So now all we're doing, we are simply counting every time we call this swap function here, which just swaps two values in an array. And we increment the number of swaps each time we call that. And then at the end, we simply see out the sentences verbatim how they give it to us replacing the numeric values with the appropriate variable that that points to. So let's go ahead and run our code. And we passed all of our test cases here. And let's submit it. Make sure we pass all the test cases. And there we go. So that is how you solve the uh, that is how you solve the bubble sort sorting problem. This was the easiest of the sorting problems in the interview preparation kit. Uh, so uh, if you want help with the next one, make sure you subscribe. I'll be getting videos out a little bit more frequently now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.